super easy, super fun. And that's about it. Right now we have our next matchup. We have Suarez and Sinji over going on PS2. We should be seeing... Oh, this is a, a classic, a Xeno classic. Sinji, uh, Pac-Man, and Suarez, Yoshi, you know? We're going to be seeing Sinji really trying... Where's the music? Oh, yeah, they have music. I was like, is it like the, the, the ones, like, soundtrack where it's just quiet? <laughs> but yeah, this, this is the, the good stuff, the intense kind of music between these two characters. But right now, Sinji's going to want to, you know, be uh, setting up his hydrant and getting the, mostly the bell and the little spaceship in order to kind of up his opponent, especially Suarez, who is so melee heavy and loves to really come in with, uh, with those Yoshi you know, uh, jabs and, uh, and melee attacks, and definitely the aerials. That he's really good at, you know, aiming uh, for his opponent with uh, up air and, and mostly up air and and uh, fair. Definitely has to be careful with these uh, projectiles from Pack, because Sinji will literally let you. He will literally let you uh, hit. Oh, be careful with that bell, please. Yep, and that's why. Bell into forward smash, easy, easy taking uh, Swords' first stock. Swords kind of hovering at the recovery area for like a minute, like, yo, what happened? And already Swords at 37% by being hit by both the Hydra and I believe it was one of the fruits? And right now, Sinji just chilling with three stocks, 88%. Not really letting Swords juggle him in the air like Swords so used to doing with a lot of other players. Apple into. I want to say that's bear. Whenever it's feet, I usually assume it's bear. Was he really just out of range for Yoshi's, um, Yoshi's suck? That's crazy. <gasps> I always get so anxious seeing Bell on, on the playing field because it's just like, it, you, you, it feels like it, it comes at you from nowhere. You can avoid the first time and then Sinji does a back throw and kills you. And then Bell comes out of nowhere and just stuns you, and then you die. And then Suarez is really trying to come with life right now because he is just. He's on the player cam, really trying to see what he can do in the situation against Sinji. And he really just needs to, you know, not push that Hydra. That Hydra is basically bait for Sinji to know that he's going to have to, you know, if you fight the Hydra, he can easily come up behind you or in front of you and just take off a stock of you really easily with that Bell and the Forest Smash, you know? You know, using that Hydra as much as he can. Let's see. Trying to get up to hello. I'm finally taking out the first stock from Sinji, but Swords at 70% and only one stock left. I mean, this is the first game, of course, and you know what? Oh. Okay, not killing quite yet. Doesn't be, I don't think it was charged enough to really do, uh, you know, a killing move. Oh, that bell. He might throw it right off stage, right in the air. Yeah, fair into the hydrant in the air. To Apple. Goodbye, Hydrant. Back air into missing a fair. Into back air, into back air. Uh huh, uh huh. Come on, Sinji. I like to. I want to just, like, you know, again, Sinji's patience because he, he just really sets up and then waits for you to get baited with his setup. And that's something he's really good at. It's something you need to be really careful when you are approaching Sinji's Pac Man. Oh no. Here comes Sinji Suarez's aerials, just barely missing the last upper who that would have, might have, like, even possibly taken Sinji's second stock. He has to be so careful. Yeah, but I say pack up air will definitely take that stock at that high of a level on PS2. And he was at like one, one like what, 190, almost 200. Yeah, definitely gonna take that stock. It didn't even feel like that long of a game. Three whole minutes. God, I hate Pac-Man's animations. <laughs> I, I just... Just something in me just makes me want to just poke him and then squish him like a pimple. I, I don't like his animations. Again, I wish that they kept him kind of 2D. Or like... Like, not Game Watch 2D, because Game Watch makes like really weird movements, but like Pac-Man, more fluid 2D. I feel like it would be like really cool for him. Anyway, here we go. Over on... Yes! FD, my beloved! You see this, Corby? We're on FD. Something that maybe will be a little bit more better for Suarez in this situation. I mean, clearly, because he had to counterpick it. But... 
with the lack of platform, since he can't really uh, camp out a little bit, he, he can't camp as often as he does in order to do his setups. He kind of has to go right face to face with the action, and so that's what Yoshi is great at. He's great at face to face action, and using those, uh, using the L, the L's, <laughs> the uh, the eggs in order to, if he needs to t have some range, or even to take out that hydrant that he desperately just does not want to stay on the stage. But yeah, Sinji kind of has to be forced into a melee position, and really good job of air dodging out of that uh, the area starter. But has to get out of this, uh, get out of these melee positions. Uh, Sinji has to. I say it backwards like that. Sinji has to get out of melee positions. There we go. Haha. -ha. But this seems like it's not even the the case for for Suarez for Sinji because he is doing just fine. You know, keeping Suarez kind of at a really high percentage and not letting his stop. Oh, but the bell. The belt they even they even like run into Suarez. Suarez ran into the belt. Really unfortunate. And Suarez kinda looks like he's really contemplating what to do in this kind of situation without the platforms to like kinda aid him. Yeah, definitely forcing Zinji into a more uh, productive like, not productive, but like a very close face to face situation. Oh no. Pac-Man grab is so busted. It's so long. And lasts like ten years. I could graduate in the amount of time it takes him to grab someone. Gain that out. Gain the spaceship item already. Oh no, the bell is actually ready. My bad. No, because Sinji actually is super good at really timing his moves and knowing what his opponent is going to do or try to do. He kind of just waits until the damage is over and then he punishes it with his own kind of moves. Oh, he's not Yoshi down B. I can swear this is a high percentage. I really am hoping that he's able to kind of run it, like bring it back against uh, Suarez. I mean, again, against Sinji. And great job going to take Sinji's first stock of the day, of the of the match. Oh my god, be careful with that belt. Oh god, Sinji's trying to break that hydrant. Who's trying to aim it towards uh, Suarez? Maybe just take like a second stock. Yeah, Yoshi back here is gonna do a little bit of damage, but just not. He has to avoid all of these uh, traps that Sinji's setting up for himself. Oh no. Yep. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, came back at 190. Uh, see, there's a hydrant that Sinji was really trying to aim towards uh, his opponent to, uh, to like hit him and get him off the stage. Devastating, like. It's just a devastating item. It's so heavy. It actually gets hit a lot. I like to, I like the move that Suarez is using, using the sh the egg in order to like knock Sinji out of the, the range of the hydrant. Cause you definitely don't want Sinji to be near the hydrant when you're trying to attack him. The hydrant is like it's like it's like you're playing a two v one with that hydrant. The hydrant's a whole different character. Okay, that's a whole third player at that point. Let's see. I oh, yeah, that that neither one were, were able to kind of like enter the space for a second there, using y Yoshi down B in order to take out second, Sinji's second stock. Clearly, this age was a much better fit for Sawara because now he's at a much closer range to actually take out this game and make it, maybe even get it to game three. But he has to be really careful with that bell. He got out of the bell. Let's go. Oh my God, Sinji again trying to get that that hydrant to fight to hit him. Oh no. Is he dropping that? Oh! The little blue goes up smash. I wanted, to, I wanted to hear the whole song first before I spoke. I actually like Pac Man's victory, uh, victory little uh, music. I think it's really cute. But yeah, right here, he's dropping the. I think it's a grapefruit. I'm not sure what all these items are. I'm not I would call it a melon. Probably. A melon. Yeah. I, why say grapefruit? <laughs> grapefruit definitely looks like an orange. Yeah, you're right. My bad. My bad. The grapefruit. Hello, my own crack. Like that, that is definitely a melon with like a little protector on it. Or it was like a. I don't know. It was just a fruit of some sort. But like. He's making it like go up in the air, making Suarez like move over, and then using like I think it was up smash. Yep. And uh, destroying uh, him. Smash him up with the launch box. Yeah, it's gross. That's actually Pac-Man's a gross character. 
But he's so good, like, he's actually, you know what? I can't have Pac-Man all I want, but he is a good character. He's just good if you really, if you really like setting up and camping and like making your opponent, like play mind games with your opponent and mess with your opponent, he's like, he's really great for you. Also, you're money I'm okay, no. I'm not gonna call you money <laughs> That's crazy. Imagine if I, someone assigned like all these personality traits to all these like Smash players. Oh, we have John Numbers and Bubble. 